Hi there, this section is about uh, inputting grant uh, model definitions and receiver at the facility perimeter. Again, uh, Sound Plan Essential version 2.0. Uh, we started uh, developing a little model with a ground elevation, aerial map, uh, putting in some buildings and some HVAC point sources on top of the uh, roof. The next step is we'll define uh, ground definitions. So here we have uh, ground definitions. Uh, I put in a, a rectangle for the entire area uh, or project area, uh, defining a, a ground factor of 1, so being absorptive over the entire area. That's actually the default. And then uh, I'm planning to uh, add um, reflective surfaces within the area. So here we have a basketball area or playground area. So again, we uh, select the uh, ground effect uh, object. And uh, I'll go around uh, this area here, which is all concrete or asphalt. And uh, all the way to here. And then we have a parking lot area uh, starting right here. And again, for both of these areas, we are defining a, a reflectivity of, uh, of zero. So here we have a reflectivity of uh, factor of zero, and then the other one also zero. Uh, next step is uh, we'll put in some receiver locations. Um, so our first receiver location we put on the west perimeter. So I'll digitize the point. Um, Create 1.5 meter above ground. This is our west perimeter first location, and um, second point down here, also 1.5. And this is the south perimeter. Uh, then we'll have a east perimeter 1.5. And uh, we'll put a north perimeter somewhere in this area. All right, let's see right here. And 1.5. And this will be the north perimeter. At this point, we can calculate these uh, full uh, rece receiver locations. Uh, so it's a very simple model, a single point calculation. And uh, we start the calculation. It's the for the measurement location. We can go into the emission table to see the input. So we have here our eight HVAC systems, sound power levels 99.5 and nighttime 95. We have the result tables. Here we have the contribution for each of these uh, locations, uh, east, north, south, and west perimeter, and uh, the exceedance over the 55 decibels uh, at daytime. Uh, then we have, uh, we can look at the contribution. So here we have the individual contribution for each of the receivers for every source. And then here we have the uh, spectral content at each receiver. So from 63 hertz to 8 kilohertz for the daytime and nighttime. In the graphic plot, uh, we can see um, the uh, receivers here. And uh, we can zoom in, right click, zoom into the map. Maybe move the map a little bit over here, and we can, um, yep, and then we can also um, like look at each of these points, uh, and uh, in the center of these we can drag and uh, move away these tables. We can actually see okay this uh, levels this again day and night time. The top shows the limit, and then below it, the predicted level. So there is no nighttime limit here, so just a daytime limit. So here we have uh, location number one, two, three, and four. And here again, we have the graphic plots. Uh, don't want to go through a lot of detail here, but we can uh, generate, we can put in the, the a logo, uh, we can put in um, uh, map text. So this is uh, school. Uh, noise levels and uh, 
in this case it's the HVAC systems and here of course you can change the font size and font size here also a little bit bigger okay um, and actually let's put this here to the single point map that's the one that we are working on right now okay and so we have our two texts then. so next step is uh, we put in a calculation area uh, so I can uh, put in a calculation area so I'll select the object calculation area and we start uh, actually at this point uh, I'll close this session <laughs>